Welcome to our short presentation titled Introduction to Cryptocurrency Trading. Before we get into the actual presentation, I'm just going to bring up some disclaimers. If you can have a quick read through that, then we'll continue with the presentation. Thank you very much for that. Now, the cryptocurrencies that we offer at FXCM include Bitcoin, BTC, USD, Bitcoin Cash, BCH, USD, Ethereum, ETH, USD, Litecoin, LTC, USD, and Ripple, XRP, USD. Now, what we'll do over the next few slides is just describe a few facts regarding each of these cryptos. And the first one we're going to start with is, of course, Bitcoin. Bitcoin BTC USD is simply electronic money. It is decentralized and Bitcoins are created and held electronically. So no one controls Bitcoin. It is not created by any mint or any central bank. It is actually produced by people running computer software that solves mathematical problems and this is called Bitcoin mining. And with regards to Bitcoin mining, only 21 million Bitcoins are allowed to be mined. But these can be divided into smaller parts. So it's important to understand that Bitcoin is decentralized, meaning that no single institution controls it or the Bitcoin network. So no central bank interference whatsoever. The next crypto is Bitcoin Cash, BCH USD. And this split from Bitcoin in 2017. Bitcoin Cash's blockchain allows far more space and can hold more transactions. The next crypto we're looking at is Ethereum, ETH USD. This is a decentralized platform that runs smart contracts using Ether as the digital currency. It's a robust network with efficient code. Litecoin, or LTC USD, is an open source decentralized digital currency. It was created in 2011 using code from a Bitcoin client. And then Last but not least is Ripple, XRP USD. This is an online cryptocurrency platform, but unlike the other cryptos, Ripple's target audience is traditional banking institution, institutions. It's used to settle cross-border and cross-bank transactions in a transparent manner. Now take a look at cryptocurrencies as an asset class. These are all of our offerings on one slide, and you can see that they all positively correlated. There's a number of advantages of trading crypto with FXCM. First of all, you don't need to take ownership of cryptocurrencies, which are expensive. You're also able to trade with fiat currencies, such as the US dollar. And importantly, there's a low cost of entry. Understand this, when trading cryptocurrency through FXM, you're trading through an established broker. So internet security is entrenched. Some cryptocurrency exchanges even disappear overnight. That, that won't happen with FXM. And of course, you have a demo account option. You also have the advantage of choosing whether you want to trade long or short. This means you can take advantage of either up moves or down moves. Finally, there is 2 to 1 leverage available to FXCM limited clients and 4 to 1 leverage available to FXCM Oz, FXCM South Africa and FXCM market clients. And this allows the trader to control their, posi their position size requiring only half the necessary funds. But understand this, that leverage is a double-edged sword and can dramatically amplify your profits, but it can also just as dramatically amplify your losses. So trading forex trade Trading foreign exchange and CFDs with any level of leverage may not be suitable for all investors. Let's just take a look at the cryptocurrency matrix. This just indicates what the CFD ratio at FXCM is to the Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, or Ripple. And it highlights the maximum contract size that one is able to trade.
With regards to our cryptos, the margin is updated daily. So cryptocurrency margin requirements are updated shortly after market open, which is Sunday, 6 p.m. New York time. These are then updated again during the market break, which is between 4.45 p.m. and 6 p.m. New York time. And this is because cryptocurrencies are volatile instruments. An intraday move in excess of 30% may prompt a margin update subject to the discretion of dealing and risk. In the event of a large intraday move, margin requirements will need to be adjusted accordingly. Now, if you're choosing to trade cryptocurrencies, please understand that the CFDs do expire. So, if a trader holds a position at the expiry, it will be closed at the price during the market break. So, any pending orders will also be closed and will need to be re-entered. In this regard, there is an expiration calendar. So, go to FXCM's cryptocurrency webpage. And you'll see towards the bottom of the page, there's a link to the expiration calendar. And yet, I have highlighted it with the red rectangle. Just click on that cryptocurrency product guide linked. When you open up your trading platform with FXCM, in order to trade the cryptocurrencies, please ensure that you highlight the cryptos blue, as you can see in the slide. So how do we do that? You right click on their codes and simply click subscribe. This will then highlight them blue and they'll be available to trade. You'll be able to access their price and chart. Now, as an example, consider Bitcoin on the FXCM platform. In this example, we're looking to short 10 units, which equates to 10 US cents per pip. In order to take on this position, the trader must maintain a 309 a $309.50 margin, and this is an example for a US dollar account. Once the short has entered, the trader will need to cover the spread first. Here the position has improved 10 cents as the cost of the spread at open was 4.5. Thank you very much for joining me for this presentation. This is the end, but before I log off, I'd like to show you a webinar specifically with regards to cryptocurrency analysis that we offer at FXCM. So just bear with me, I'm bringing across our homepage, and this is the fxcm.com homepage. What you would need to do is go through to knowledge. Just click on the knowledge link there, and under education, free online live classrooms. Just click on that for me, please. Okay, just bear with me while it brings up the page. Okay, here we go. I beg your pardon, it's a little slow. Once the page loads up, just scroll down. And you can see these are the, um, the webinars that we offer. The one in particular is at the bottom, the Crypto Minute. It's every Wednesday at 9 a.m. South African Standard Time. South African Standard Time is GMT plus 2. And what you need to do is just click into the Crypto Minute. Okay, and we're just waiting for that page to download. And once it downloads, what you do is you just simply enter in your details and register. And then every Wednesday before the Crypto Minute, you'll get a reminder that the webinar is about to begin. And it would be a pleasure to have you join us. The Crypto Minute is all about cryptocurrency analysis. We'll do a full analysis every Wednesday morning and hope to see you there. That now really does bring us to the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it, and we'll sign off here. Thank you very much.